Hi, uh, good morning, uh, everyone. So, Dr. Arazo, good morning. Okay, since uh, now it's uh, 10 15 already, uh, I think we, we can start the, this session, training session, right? Uh, even someone is joining, I still can accept it. Uh, okay, hope you guys can uh, put your mic uh, to mute. Unless if you have any questions, so you, you can uh, uh, raise your hands or maybe just unmute and ask. OK, but. Uh, OK, I hope this one won't take long because we're going to uh, show you the screens um, for the health screening lah, on how to respond on how to update the health screening through the system, right? Still joining. <laughs> OK, and another one, can you all see my screen or not? Can you see my screen or not? Can you guys see my screen now? Uh, yes. Can I? Confirm. All right, great. OK, now. Um, so basically, let me let me just summarize uh, the flow for today, right? Uh, basically, I the flow for this health screening uh, uh, to the PSR app, it's uh, where where it starts and where it ends, right? Ilman, so, Ilman, sorry, yeah, just a quick one. Yeah. I think the chat box is not on lah. Maybe uh, maybe chat some box, might ask uh, questions in the chat box. Uh. Yeah, thanks. Okay, how to open this one? Um, you mean? Uh, Pop it, pop up or what? Uh, no, the chat channel is only available for team members. I think you need to make it available for everyone. Okay, uh, how to do that? Let me try to look because I'm not really familiar with teams. Okay, participants, uh, permission. So you 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 didn't see the the chat box, uh, is it? No, I can see the chat box. It's just gray out. Is it chat in channel meeting is only available to team members? Okay. I'm not sure on the permission. Let me just quick check. Uh, meeting options. You you familiar with the ch uh, chat settings, Ken? No, I do not use Teams. Yeah. Uh, it's okay, it's okay, yeah. man. It's okay. If you don't have, it's okay. You just go ahead. Uh, maybe Sorry. maybe you can just uh, write somewhere and then pass to us later, or uh, through email or WhatsApp group. Or if you have anything to ask, then maybe you can unmute and uh, straight away ask. Yeah, I think that would be a better option. Yeah. Okay, sure. OK, now come back to the screens. Uh, come back to where, OK, now where it starts and where it ends. So basically it starts with the public, uh, I mean, well, with the patient, lah, right? So the patient will uh, fill in the forms through the health screening uh, uh, platform over here. I don't think I, I need to show you guys this one, but we, we need to focus on how to respond on how to update the forms, right? Uh, should I just start from login? Lah? Yeah, okay. start from login. Lah. OK, now we will be going to use um, our demo server, so-called test server, right? I don't want to mess up with the actual server because uh, we are going to make some changes or update or modifi modify on the records. So I don't want to mess up with the actual one. Lah. But basically, uh, the forms, the, the, the screens uh, should be the same, right? Or maybe uh, similar. Lah. Now, of course, you can either log in from here or from the Image Asia website, right? I maybe just straight to this one. Lah. OK, I'm using ORM testing 14. Uh, it's a demo account. OK, now where it starts. Once the patient uh, 
made a booking, uh, made a payment through this form. Okay, and email notification will be sent to the clinic, right? The email should look something like this, lah. Right? So there's a health screening test, new appointment re uh, request received, together with the HST ID. So this is so-called ID, lah. For each test uh, or for each booking, will come with an ID. So there are some summary over here, okay? And there is some uh, instructions over here, lah. But this one just just summary of the, the the instructions on how to log in and how to manage, lah. Okay. So once you receive this email, right? You need to log into the system. Like I showed you just now, right? First thing you need to do is, of course, to respond to the booking, to the appointment, right? Whether you're going to accept it or you're going to reject the appointment, okay? Now, once you log in, you will see a lot of menus over here on the left, right? We're going to focus on these two, clinic scheduling and as well, health screening test, right? Now, first thing you need to do, you need to respond to the appointment. Just click new appointments over here. You will see the list of appointments has been booked by the patients. Now, see all these names, all these dates, right? All this ID. Right. You can do some search over here as well. You can filter by date as well. Right. On how to confirm or reject, you just click on this link. Confirm or reject. So basically, it will redirect you to the form. Where you will see more details. And you will see these two options over here. Okay. Now, assume you're going to confirm this one. You are okay with the date chosen by the patient, the time, everything is okay. So you click confirm, right? And then you just click on save. Unless if you want to reschedule this patient to some other day, then you just check this one, right? You can choose a different day, a different time. So once you do this and you submit or click save, the patient will receive another email saying that this appointment has been rescheduled, right? Clinic 3 Indra is having issue to join or what? Okay. Now, uh, let's just go back to the screen. Okay, let's just uh, respond to this patient, to Aguero. Uh, choosing on 27, uh, 8.30, so assume this is fine, so I just click confirm reject, and I just click on confirm. All right, quick one. Just click save. All right, as you can see, the patient has been moved from this listing, no more in here. All right, so the patient received an uh, 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 email notification. All right, so now assume the day uh, has come and the patient reached the clinic, right? So this is the next step you need to do. Okay, so this is the next step you need to do. You need to click on this menu, health screening test, and then the first one is health screening test bookings, right? As you can see, I think the date is sort by booking date. Let me just sort this one. Okay, now I sort by booking date over here. Now I can see this Kun Aguero and another patient today uh, on the top now. Okay. Now assume this another John Doe, another John Doe came to the clinic, reached the clinic. So the, the procedure you do is actually uh, just a normal one. Lah. You just attend the patient, right? Register in your clinic and ask to see the doctor. I'm not really sure how the procedure in the clinic. And of course, you're going to take the samples, right? Now, once you've got the sample ready and ready to be sent to the lab, you need to come to this listing and click on create test request over here. Okay. 
you can search the, the patient name, for example, another John. So just in case you, you cannot see the patient name over here, right? So you just uh, filter the name and just click on show. You will see the name over here. So the rest will be filtered out, right? So you can click on this create test request. Basically, it will open this form. So this is what we call biochemistry test form. Okay, let me just scroll. Let me just scroll all the way down over here. Okay. Now. Now, since some of the information has been keyed in by the patient itself, right? During uh, uh, at this at this formula, when they purchase, they will need to key in some information over here, right? They need to select the clinic and so on. So when it comes to your clinic, when you open the form, you just need to fill a few things only. Okay. Uh, Hilman, sorry. Uh. Yes. Uh, yes. You are doing the tutorial for health screening on email Asia, right? Yes. Okay. I think uh, better explain what is health screening. This is about first. So basically, health screening right, is an initiative by email Asia. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are opening it for patients to make booking for health screening via email Asia. Lah. And uh, tying with uh, a list of clinics that has been uh, tying with uh, care clinics for this program. Lah. So okay. basically, when a patient makes a booking through our email Asia platform, uh, the the they will select a clinic that is shown on our system on our portal. Lah. You can check it out at health healthscreening .com, which I think Hilman will share the link. Lah. So uh, this is the link. So the patients will see this first. Lah. Yeah, this is how it looks. We are using a demo server. This is how it looks. Yeah, uh, by the way, Dr. Arasu can also explain some more. Uh, Dr. Arasu, do you want to step in here or you want me to continue? Yeah, just, just uh, thanks, Ken. Just probably this particular slide. Okay, uh, okay. for everyone, uh, to makluman semua, uh, initiative ini adalah initiative dari e Asia dengan care clinics. So basically, e Asia akan promote dalam public untuk pelanggan-pelanggan uh, dekat luar, untuk booking melalui e Asia, uh, untuk klinik yang participate. So basically, apa yang kita perlu buat step satu, step satu lagi adalah kita kena buat email Asia sebagai panel kita. So I think Amira is there. So email Asia kena kita kena dalam sistem kita tu kita buat uh, email Asia sebagai panel. Sebab yang ni bila ada booking seperti yang Hilman cerita uh, yang terangkan tadi, dia akan tertera dalam uh, portal email Asia and then juga ada email notification. Okay. Lepas tu bila patient ni datang ke klinik kita register under uh, panel email Asia yang I think belum buat lagi tapi yang tu under our internally will do it lah. Okay, then patient tu tak akan bayar. Yang akan bayar adalah email Asia. Uh, so basically, ini adalah health screening program yang dikelolakan uh, kelolakan oleh email Asia. That means akan push patient kepada our clinics lah. Uh, and all those participating clinics lah. Huh? So that is an overall uh, view. Uh, anything, any question, just let me know. So basically, we are at the moment we are only targeting three uh, packages, uh, seperti yang I think Ken cerita tu juga tadi tu, slide tadi tu. Ah, uh, these are the three things we are doing now for the pilot first. Ah, uh, so kita tak nak buat very complicated. So the payment is different. I think if not mistaken, uh, payment uh, uh, for each clinic is different lah. I think the first one mungkin tak silap cakap lima puluh ringgit untuk klinik, and second one is more, and third one is more lah. Third one is hundred or ringgit I think if not mistaken. Uh, so yang paket yang yang program ni kita tak perlu charge patient ah uh, program ni adalah patient yang akan di push oleh email Asia kepada uh, care clinics yes, thanks thank you doctor arsu uh, so human i think we can continue with okay. the tutorial anyone okay, have any you. questions you can kindly whatsapp us lah okay thank you ken thank you doctor arsu for the explanation uh, sorry because i just straight jump to the uh, to the tutorial because I thought you guys have been brief about this uh, program. Sorry. Okay, so we are good to continue, yeah? Yep, go ahead. Okay. Okay, now where were we? Okay, uh, we have seen the form, this form. We have seen this uh, respond to the appointments, accept or reject or confirm or reject. And then we are now at this menu, right? Health screening test bookings, where we are going to use these informations to be submitted to the to the lab. Okay. 
All right, let's just search for the patient again. All right, we've seen this menu, we've seen these columns, everything now. There's a link create test account. We click this one just now. This is where we're going to complete this form and uh, submit to the lab, which is Neogenics, right? Okay. Now, I did mention that some of the information has been keyed in by the patient itself. So a few things we need to do, of course, here. Need to choose the doctor's name. I mean, the current doctor that attend to the patient. Okay. Uh, telephone number, uh, no need to be filled in already. Now, MRN is optional. Uh, it's optional field for you to key in. Okay, all this fill in by the patient. Okay. Uh, someone, someone asking? Okay, you guys can fill in any clinic summary over here. Okay, of course, this one is demo only. Yeah? Okay, now, since the, the what call it, the booking came from the patient, I mean, from these options or these three packages that are available. So once you open the form in uh, uh, email Asia platform over here as clinic, you will see the, the package or the profile has been selected over here. Okay, so you don't need to do anything uh, in here. But of course, you need to check this one just to make sure, I mean, just to uh, assure the, the sample has been taken. Okay. So just need to check this one. Okay, leave this one uh, because uh, the payment has been made through this form. So as mentioned by Dr. Arasu, you don't need to, to uh, collect any further payment from the patient. Okay. Okay, this is the date time take, uh, sample taken. For example, uh, it's now lah, today, maybe 10.30. So you can use this one. Okay, I'm done. Now, there's another option over here, whether you want to request the lab to send over a hard copy of the report. So if you choose this one, right, um, the lab will also prepare the hard copy of the report once the result uh, uh, is ready or completed. Okay, but I believe it will take like two or three days for the deal, uh, uh, what we call it, for delivery lah. Um, I believe it also sent to the clinic, if not mistaken, can someone, it should be sent to the clinic, right? Hi, Himan, yes, it will yes. be sent to the okay. clinic. Yeah. Okay, okay, yes. Okay, so just check, check this one if you require. And then, just double check, is everything okay? Okay, now over here, you see there's a lab telephone number of here for Neogenic. So uh, even though they receive email notification, right? But we would really suggest a uh, clinic to call this number Neogenics just to, to inform there is a, a sample to be collected. Uh, just in case if they, uh, you know, if there are too many emails, too many records, so just just to be to make sure they 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 are aware of these uh, bookings, okay. So there's a phone number here you can call. Uh, I believe you can also uh, ask for the the tube everything that you require from the lab lah for uh, using this number as well. You mean you want to order anything from the lab? You can use this number as well. Okay, now everything is good. We just click on submit. Right. So this is another John Doe. Just click on submit. Uh, Sorry. Yes. Want to yes. mention the cutoff time for sample collection. We made a remark there look, at the bottom. Sure. There's a remark as well over here. Let me just let me just open again. Huh? Okay, I will respond to another uh, booking. See. Okay, when we come back to this health screening test. John. Let's 
So we click test request. Okay, at the, at the bottom here, you see there is a cutoff times daily. So the morning session will end at 10.30. Last is 10.30 a.m. And for uh, um, uh, afternoon session or evening, we'll be at 4.30 p.m. Right? Okay, let me just please uh, submit another booking over here. Okay. Okay, patient address. Okay. Okay, so this one, uh, MVP 11. Okay, hit report and click on submit. So that will be the steps on how to submit the request to the lab. Okay. Uh, human, yeah. Also mentioned the download general request form. Yeah. yeah. So I will. Uh, okay. Now, once you have um, submit this form, right? We will come back to this listing. Okay. If you scroll to the right, you will see these links generated. Okay. Download general request form. Now, as uh, mentioned, uh, okay. I think. I ask this question, so. okay? The clinic required to uh, print this form and attach together with the sample, right? Just make sure you do that before the lab come and collect the, the specimen. Okay, just click on this one. So maybe I just say, this is how it looks. It's a PDF file. Okay, so you just print this one and then attach to it together with the specimen. So, right. Okay. Right. So, it's waiting for you. Oh, no, no, I need to use something else to actually. So, after this, you. Hold on, eh? I think once I've got a setup, I'll just head back and then try to do that. Um, Okay, sorry for the interruption. Now, um, if you if you have anything to ask right now, you can ask before I proceed to the on how on how to uh, update the the lab uh, form and push the the record to PHR. I'm going yes. to do yeah. Hilman, uh, this is yes. The, I just want to find out that yeah. I want to know what is the flow like that the patient makes an order via email Asia first, right? Correct, correct. Through okay. this website or platform. Through this website, they make the order. Mm -hmm. Now the patient will come to the clinic to take the blood, right? Correct. Okay, so when they come to the clinic, uh, how do we identify this is the patient coming for the blood test? That means we okay. have to go back to the email Asia system and, and look for their name, right? Sure. Okay, uh, I did mention earlier that the patient will receive an email as well. So, uh, of course, for the payment, lah, they will receive notification for the payment, something like this. So, basically, the patient, by right, need to show you guys uh, the, the payment, uh, what we call it, uh, proof of, of payment, lah, receive. Lah. Okay. okay, something like this. Lah. Okay, something like this. Lah. They have received, they have the QR code. Okay. Okay. Or if if let's say they, they just reach your clinic, they don't have phone with them or whatever, but they have ID, of course, right? IC or whatever, passport or whatever. Now you can you can um, ask for the information like name, ID number, and then you can search from this this thing. If the the information is, is match, so you can assume that this is the patient. Of course, they when, when they come, they will mention that. 
I've already paid through the email Asia platform. So you would know that this patient came from this platform. So they will inform us that they have already paid via the email Asia platform. They should read, they should. Uh, I'm not sure because patients, you know, no, no, sometimes no, they just. The thing, the thing is that you're uh, talking about patients, you know. Uh -huh. You think they will come and tell that email Asia there, but sometimes uh, that's, the thing, uh. that's the problem okay. with Asia. <laughs> yeah? uh -huh. So I, okay. I think, I think you, you got to just fine tune that yeah. part. That's all I'm asking. Okay, we did put here, right, that they should bring something. Uh, let me just. They are required to bring this information. You pay, can you present this QR code? So this is the first step that we did. Uh, we informed the patient to present this QR code or the receipt to the, yes. to the clinic. But in case if they didn't bring anything, right? Um, uh, oh, maybe one suggestion. One suggestion yeah, yeah, is yeah. that, right, uh, once you receive a booking, uh, recommend the clinic print out the booking as well, so that when the patient, if there's a patient around that time comes for asking for a health screening, right, you can show them that is this your booking, lah? because the clinic can also will receive an email concerning the patient name and IC number as well. I mean, that is, that's one step of the, one, one way to make it more, how to say, uh, more uh, no, no, less it's, room it's for not, error. It's not going to work out that way. The thing is that the onus has to be on the patient. That means the patient, he, they have to show the QR code to the clinic. Yes, by right. Yes, so yes, that is, that, is the, that is one of the requirements, yes. But I'm just suggesting that uh, if there's another way, both sides can also print out lah, both the form so that uh, yeah. the, the patient themselves can be, can be notified. Lah, because uh, sometimes the patient do... I mean, we, we have done this, uh, something similar for this with the, the, our COVID testing and we did, and we did always, uh, whenever we have a booking, we call the patient, we let them know, please, uh, bring your receipt and show to the clinic. Lah. Right. But if, in case, in case, if that doesn't, if that is not, not, uh, concrete, not, not strong enough of a, of a, how to say. Uh, ensuring that nothing goes wrong, right? I think you, the clinic can also print out the, the email as well, just in case. And if around that time a patient come and ask for health screening, right, they can just request like, you know, is this is this you? Can you show your proof? Then they can show. Lah. At any okay. rate, email did agents... You, uh, wait, wait. Did you face any challenges or not in that part? So far, any issues or not? just want to know. Okay, Romel, let me, let me answer this question. Because, yeah. uh, uh, okay, the architecture is me. Okay, basically, uh, previously during the, uh, we do have uh, our backhand uh, support team from EMED Asia that actually will call the clinic and then check also, and also the patient. Uh, the reason, actually, you brought up a valid point. That is why, because of that, uh, we try as much as possible to make sure the patient brings it. But there were very rare instances where they never bring anything uh, for whatever reason. Uh. So that is why, uh, while we do not want to reject the patient, we always uh, advise the staff to check on the email. So that's why our support email is a support team actually will call and so. But of course, when the numbers goes up very high, uh, you may have some uh, lacking lagging on that. Mm -hmm. So that is why we just want to make sure when the patient comes to the clinic, uh, the staff said, I do not know. Uh, so that is why we're using a double prong approach. Okay. All right. Right. Thank you, I Dr. Rasu. Uh, yeah, human, you can continue. Thanks, sir. Okay, sure. Okay, no further questions. So I will um, just take another records over here that has been done by the lab. Right? Okay, now as you can see, there's a column status over here, pending collection, completed, and so on. So the one that you, we, we, uh, the clinic just created, right, it was supposed to show pending collection over here. So meaning, um, this has been notified to the labs and they are sending someone to collect, right? Now, once they have collected the, the same specimen and they bring to the lab, they will also update the record and you will see something like this, sample receive, okay? Sample receive. Okay, not much record over here. So sample receive meaning reach to the lab and once they start process, you will also see it updated to process. Okay, let me just... To the lab. Okay, no need to focus on this part. Very quick one. Eh? Sorry, yeah. Okay, assume that we see this one. Yes. 
Sim, com certeza. Okay, actually I found that there is no processing status over here. Come back to this thing. Oh, sorry. Okay, all these sample receive, now uh, pending collection, sample receive, and then once the lab has completed the, the test, they will update the record to completed. Okay. Completed. All this completed. You can even uh, uh, filter the listing with completed status. So it will show all the completed status. Okay. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, once it's completed, two parties will receive the email. First is the patient. Okay. Patient will receive the email. The second one, the clinic as well. So both will be notified just to mention that this. Uh, record or this test has been completed. There is no without the result huh? or without any attachment to the email. Okay, so if we go to see the patient's uh, content, it shows something like this. Okay, so this is the content for the patient. Okay, so you send that test is completed. Uh, can you contact your clinic for information? Okay. Uh, if they request for the hard copy, so we also add this one. Okay, three business days, right? So this is automatically generated. So um, I would I would believe that the the patient uh, would usually call the clinic and asking whether they can come already or not. Or uh, since the clinic as well receive the the notification, a clinic also can call the patient uh, saying that this has been committed. You can come within three or, or four days uh, after. Okay. Uh, Hilman, just to add on, uh, yeah. the patient, once the test is completed, the patient will receive an email saying mm -hmm. uh, your uh, report is ready, please go see your doctor. But maybe just to is, uh -huh. add on that, uh, what do you call it? We won't directly send the report to the, e uh, to the patient. The clinic will have to uh, access it. So <laughs> that way the patient comes back for a follow-up and a, a consultation. Yeah, definitely we can change this 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 text of course. Maybe we can add that if information if we think is uh, necessary. Huh? Sure, no problem. Okay. Uh, let's just take a look at what uh, clinic we receive. Okay, so this one is uh, an example. Okay, so your test request with the ID here has been completed by lab. So you can uh, straight away click on the link that we provide in the email, or you can come back to this uh, system and go to this all by chemistry test menu. Okay. For example, if you are looking for this ID, you can also search by ID number over here. Lah. Oh, maybe they can give me. Let me press ID. Oh, sorry. Wrong dollar. Okay, so this is the one. Okay, so I think we're going to move to on how to update uh, or push the record to PHR app. Now, uh, let me try look for uh, this patient, whether I can use it or not. Okay, it's not here. But never mind. I will show you on how to update and push to the to that PHRM. Okay, so if you scroll to the right, you will see another column over here. Release report approved. Right? can see there's one saying it's yes. So this patient, we have pushed the record to PHR app. Now, 
we try to update this one. Uh, completed, look for the completed one, of course. Okay, for example, this one. So this patient is Gandalf. So if you click on view, you will reopen the form. Okay, and at the bottom here, you will be able to download the report. And then there is another option here, approved for re report release. Okay, now this, of course, you can download and print if the patient come to the clinic, ask for the, uh, uh, what we call it? No, no, not print. If you download this PDF file, if the patient, for example, they're asking for a, a soft copy, right? So you can download this PDF and then send email or WhatsApp to the patient. Okay, if they request, uh, previously, uh, they require a hard copy. The lab should uh, send the hard copy to the clinic. Okay, and within three or four working days, and then they come to the clinic. You can hand over the report to the patient. Okay, now if they, if you want to release this record to PHRM, you just click on this, and then just click on submit. Okay. Now, I will submit this one. Copy this one. I submit this one. So if we check again this lab request ID. So the column updated to yes now. Okay. So by right, if the patient uh, is registered a PHR app user, right, if they open the app, Okay. All right. So the lab result will be updated over here, laboratory results over here. So the number should be increased. Now I'm using Ken's account, of course, not uh, Gandalf. So I won't see uh, this information updated to my app now. Okay. But basically, what we do in this PHR app, we will match the IC number over here. If this Ken, now IC number is match with this ID number in the system. So basically it will show over here. So this is this is some uh, uh, example only. Lah. Yeah. Okay, now come back to this tab. You click, click on this one. They can refresh, right? So assume this is the one actually, right? Clinic Medina, this is the one. So if they click over here, right? They will see this attachment whatever has been attached in this form over here. It's the same thing. This one, these two should be the same. Okay. All right. Just in case if it's not updated, then maybe perhaps the patient can ask uh, the clinic whether to check if this one has been checked or not. And they can also check with us whether uh, this has been updated in the system or not. By right, it should immediately show in the app once you click on this one and submit this form. Okay. So I believe that would be the last um, steps uh, to display the, the report or the result into the PHR app. Uh, before we continue, I think we have some uh, times for the uh, biochemistry press. If you have any questions to ask, perhaps you can ask. OK, uh, Hilma, is it? Yep. OK, you know the, the, the checklist for to, to send the report to uh, to their PHR, right? How uh -huh. to ensure uh, how to ensure that that result is belo belongs to them? Because let's say if any hiccups there, be that result is actually somebody's results and it goes there. How to double yeah. check before we release the result? Before we check, because you have to make sure that okay. Otherwise, it's a medical legal yeah. issue. 
I, I know, I understand that. But of course, now we we have the system, right? We update and then we have the checking. Okay, the system, the app itself, and also the what we call it, the system we have the checking uh, programmatically, of course. Now, if you want to check what has been displayed in patients' uh, phone, for example, right? Um, I think. Uh, sorry to say, I think there's there's no way unless if you go to the patients and check for it. But we ensure that first thing we need you need to make sure or we need to make sure is the ID number is uh, uh, opening, what we call it. It's uh, correctly key in. Now, first thing, this ID number is key in by the patient itself. So that's that's number one lah. And in this app as well, when they register. The ID also is linked in by the patient itself. Now, first, uh, uh, we we have to make sure. Uh, of course, this one must must be correct or must be identical and match. If if it's not matched, of course, it will show. For example, uh, like you mentioned just now, it might show someone uh, else. But if it's only uh, the ID is is registered in the system. If you know what I mean, for example, for example, if the patient key in over here, the IC number is one two three using the app, right? Using the app. Now, when they come to this platform, right? When they purchase, they key in one two four. Okay. So once this everything uh, completed, this report will not show in this uh, patient app. Why? Because it's not matched. And of course, it's impossible uh, to show to other uh, patients' uh, phone. Because why? We do checking during the registration. We need to make sure this number is uh, what we call it uh, uh, existed or not. So if it's existed, we will prompt some error. They cannot proceed and use the existing login. Uh, I think is it safe to say that uh, Ken? Is it safe to say that it won't happen? We will double check and make sure the flow is concrete as well, lah. I mean, we understand your yeah. concern. It's like if what happens yes. if the patient key in a, a wrong IC number and it's uh mm. for a different user, correct? Mm. That that is the main concern, right? So, but then there are there are quite there are several levels of checking here, lah. Like what human said, mm. the patient, when they first register on PHL, they will use their IC. And when they key in and send to Neogenix, right, they will also use the, the, the same IC number. Lah. And there will be a clinic that will, how to say, sorry, there will be, when one sent to the lab test, the lab will also uh, upload the correct form, make sure the IC number is the, is the same as well. And if there's any changes, uh, I think we have before changes uh, requests by patients to change their IC number halfway through the, the lab uh, process. And we also cater to that. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, yes, yeah. I understand the concern of the, the uh, doc. Uh, sorry, who, who asked the question just now, if I may know? Uh, Ram, Ram. Ah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, so we understand your concern, Dr. Ram. Uh, we will implement, of course, a few more double checks uh, to make sure that uh, patients will not accidentally key in another patient's e uh, IC number and will get. But you see, all these results, right, are tied to a flow, right? So the the flow, the flow, uh, there is a communication between the PHR server and the mobile app server to make sure that the two two users are properly matched, lah. Sorry, uh, I hope that answers your question. Yeah, yeah, thanks, thanks. Any other questions before I? Uh, yeah, um, yeah. Um, 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 Dr. Azura here, uh, from Wong Sing Selangjaya. Okay. Uh, yeah, um, can you go back to the calendar view in your email for uh, email Asia portal? Yeah. Over Cal here. Yeah, calendar view, calendar. Okay, sorry. Uh, calendar, calendar view. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, 
you can see if the patient already make the is this uh, uh, is the booking um not confirm or confirm the name will be there or if before confirm also the name will be there or how the way the name that highlighted here is it confirm or just uh, pending confirmation okay let me just open this one right now if you can see over here okay, Tor or Edison hold on eh? Sorry. For example, phase 14, 20th. So, another John Doe that we just confirmed today, right? And Kun, uh, how to say, Kun Aguero, the one that also we, we confirmed just now. So, basically, uh, this calendar will show the, the confirm. Let's say Kun Aguero, 27, if we go to this confirm appointment, their names should be in the same uh, listing. I mean, uh, the same uh, status, which is confirmed. Uh, okay, Kuno Guerrero over here. Okay, that's mean only the confirmed yeah, appointment will be shown. Yeah, 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 correct. correct. Uh, but that is correct. not ending. They still need to go to the um, new appointment and do the confirmation. New appointments listing. Correct. Oh, okay. um, another question in, uh, for the lab, yep. Eugenie. Um, you see that you can print out the, uh, if you go back to the, the the print lab request. Uh -huh, uh huh. Hold on. This one. Yeah. That we, if okay. you print out, uh, uh, I just want to ask this to confirm. Um, we need to to do the the job and sign the doctor sign. Do you still need to do that? Uh, I believe there is a uh yeah uh yeah over here. Uh, I think it's required by the lab to to uh to stamp the clinics. Am I right? Uh, Jovin? Yeah. Jovin or can somebody? Yes. yes, we still require the chop. Uh, what about the the, the the barcode, the lab number there? Is this uh, be, will be generated, auto-generated after you print out? So the, the barcode or lab number, it will be filled by our site once we receive it. It's for our own reference only. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, perhaps we can add certain something over here, lab reference, or to be fit in by the lab. Just, just, just an uh, opinion. Uh, Ken, is it okay? Or yeah, it's fine. Yeah. So in bracket, like, we put here in bracket for lab use only. Mm -hmm. We put all, we put, we update this for lab use only. Okay. Uh, Dinesh, can you take note on this part? Okay, can Herman. Thanks. Uh, uh, just for confirmation again, uh, for lab chain, mm -hmm. we still um, need to call or because I know that lab will be um, alerted by their email, right? But you mentioned mm -hmm. that that we still need to call the lab. Is it? I mean, it is. Um, you need to do routinely to call the lab. It's like twice a day, or they will come automatically. I need just confirmation from the lab side, please. Uh, okay. So, uh, Dr. Azura, so uh, when yes. you receive the request from the patient, right, you can give us a call, then we will inform you through our call center when we will do the collection. Okay, all right. Thank you. Mm. Okay. Okay, now, uh, if you are okay, uh, I would like to hand over to our, my, my colleague, Nadesh, uh, perhaps to show you uh, just a little bit more on how to create um, a biochemistry uh, request. There's no questions. Perhaps I can hand over to Okay, uh, just to expand on that, right? what does human yeah. mean by create biochemistry, right? It's basically for patients that don't use image Asia, but they walk into the clinics and the clinics wants to send the, the lab samples to neogenics. Lah. So this is just, a, this is outside the, the, the flow. This, this flow is that the patient will pay the clinic directly because they are walking. They are not part of Asia's uh, group. Can I just explain that? Okay. okay sure. So you just go for later. Thanks. So clear on that flow. Uh, I mean, any questions on that flow? 
So, so yeah, just to reiterate, basically this is for walk-in patients uh, on the clinic. In patients. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Linesh, you can or continue. perhaps, well, but maybe a same patient that's done uh, HST, they come back, just want to add uh, uh, more tests. Uh. Yeah, can, uh, thanks Ken and Hilman. Yeah, just to uh, elaborate on what Hilman said, because uh, initially maybe this is a new patient coming to your clinic for the first time, he or she does this test, then suddenly uh, the, the patient wants to continue and then says, doctor, I want to do a different test, so I think my uh, kidney is not right, and then the, maybe doctor on your end, you, you recommend something. So we can also do it. Uh, Hilman, can you go to all biochemistry tests, please? Is a request biochemistry test. Yeah, okay, so this is the menu. Similar to like our health screening, but this time the clinic has to fill it up. Lah. So first it will be the doctor's name, then all this information. I think uh, Hilman can skip that. Lah. Just show, scroll to the bottom. A bit more? Ah, okay. So there, there are two options. One is you can do a profile similar to like the health screening or another option is to do a la carte test. That means individual tests. Maybe we show them the a la carte test first. So first you click on it and then select a la carte test, scroll down. Then you can choose whatever test that patient wants to do, like the individual test. Maybe you can do one first. Ah, yeah, red kidney bean. And then say if you want to order more tests also can you all you have to do is select add on test and then you click on the green plus button. Uh, Hilman can show please. Uh, hold on, it's hanging. Yeah, <laughs> no worries. Okay. That are still uh, hanging on my end. Can't really see anything. Maybe you can, ah, there, okay, here we go. So yeah, these are all the tests and the pricing will be there. So you just have to select, maybe they want to do, scroll some more, ah, the alpha antitrustin and maybe cytosin C. Maybe Hilman, can I get your help to select those two? Okay, and then you scroll all the way to the bottom. Ah, okay, then it appears there. And then all, all the clinic has to do is similar to health screening is uh, tick the checklist, the specimen checklist. Okay, and then when the sample was collected, it's a similar process to our health screening as well. Okay, and then this one here, the prices of the lab costs will be presented here. And then this column that says EMAT Asia suggested price to charge the patient, that is up to the clinic, it's just a suggestion. So how much the clinic wants to charge, we leave it to you all. Then uh, similar like health screening, if they want it as a hard copy as well, you just have to check that box. Then maybe you can scroll up again, human, please. Maybe we'll show them the profile. Ah, okay. So, no, down for request profile. Hmm. So now we click on profile. Then you scroll down. These are the profiles on offer. So maybe the patient wants to do a genetic, a general screening for premium female. Yeah, so these are all the tests available. And then see on top of that, uh, if a test, a particular test is not available in that profile, you can actually have it as an add-on as well. So uh, the same thing where you click the plus and then you can choose which uh, profile you, sorry, which test you would like to add on. Then once that is submit, 
then you just have to check the box when the sample was collected, and then you submit the request. Uh, so that's basically about it for biochem, as uh, Ken mentioned previously. These are for either patients that are looking for the first time, or have been your regular patients, or maybe they do the health screening first, and then they like your clinic, they want to continue and do more tests and all. Uh, we also have the capacity to do it. So uh, that's about it for the uh, biochemistry tests. If anyone has any questions, I'll be happy to take them. Uh, hi, I'm Dr. Azura here. Yes, doc yes Dr. Azura. Uh, th this is for the patient that doesn't have uh, any bookings, right? Uh, yes, correct. They just walking. So they, they need yes. to, to pay. Uh, 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 the, I mean, they have to pay for the lab. This lab yes, this correct. Sorry, I, I, I forgot to explain that. So for this walk-in, uh, the clinic will charge the patient first. Then the lab will send them. Uh, lab will send a, a clinic an invoice for the test that which is conducted. So for this, how much uh, you want to charge the patient? We we don't uh, interfere with that. It's up to the clinics to uh, uh, what determine how much they would like to charge. Um, as you can see here, the amount mm. is not. Um, you know. Uh, what? Th th this is not the real amount. This is just more of a testing site. Okay, but uh, what mm. your suggestion? How to you know for our site to charge this patient? This is the patient price, right? The RSP, right? Uh, no, uh, no, 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 no. Sorry, this, this is the price the lab is. Okay, uh, charging the clinic. If you look at the a la carte test price scroll, can you scroll to a bit to the top? Uh, yeah. Okay. So so this this this. Test this pricing here, right? The eight ringgit price, right? Is the price of the lab to the clinic. Oh, okay. It's not RS. Uh, ah, yeah. uh, no, no, no. And then the, because this, this, this page, right? The patients cannot see one. It's only the clinic can see one. This page, this page here. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, and then of course, email Asia also got a suggestion of the how much to charge. But again, you don't need to follow. And this is really up to the clinic how they want to charge. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, doctor. Uh, any other questions on this? Or is everyone clear? Uh, Jobin, just to check with you, right, for the profiles, normally the TAT is about two days, is, if I'm not mistaken, right? <laughs> Uh, yes, Danish. Most of them is around one to two days. Okay, then, okay. but the a la carte test, there are some different, like for example, pap smear is about seven days, right? Yes, correct. Okay, thank you, Jovi. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, the, from new I'm uh, Ram here. Uh, okay. okay, is there coverage, uh, uh, new genics lab coverage in uh, Batang Kali? Or for that matter, Kuala Selangor, because my st staffs were telling that uh, Neogenics does not provide services around the area. Uh, Jovin, maybe you want to answer that? Um, sometimes we do have requests uh, from Kuala Selangor also. Like, sometimes only, but the TAT, uh, because we need to arrange our rider to go further away from the radius that we set. So the TAT might be longer, like extra one day only. Okay, okay. So at the moment, uh, Batang Kali in Slango, all the Slango, Puncha Alam, you all have, even uh, Puncha Alam, uh, do you all have services there or? You, we can, we can arrange. Usually we arrange with uh, clock lab. <laughs> what lab? What lab? Clock lab, clock lab, the our rider, our logistic partner. Logistic, uh, logistic uh. Ah, yes, yes. So if we can do this arrangement, we just send the QR code to the specific clinics. So they just scan the QR codes to request for pickup. How about Ipo? Ipo, uh, Ipo too far. We so far we we still uh within Slango only, Slango. 
Okay, okay. All right, thank you. Um, um, Dr. Azura here, uh, Mr. Hillman, I've uh, got one yeah. uh, question for you. Um, this uh, for the screening um, uh, program, yeah? Um, if, uh, because I I went to the website, I can see from the list of the clinics and not, I mean, not all um, clinics on board yet. So how if they want to you know, join this screening program, um, uh, what's the best way uh, to, for your suggestion to, to be on board um, uh, as soon as possible? Oh, uh, I think you can just send us the, the contact that who the clinic's contact that needs to be and then uh, Linesh will contact the clinic directly and also even do another micro walkthrough just for, just for, you know, a refresher. Mm. Yeah. yeah, correct. Um, you can just directly send us. Mm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, another one. Um, uh, I I I search through the internet. I um, I mean I Google through the screening program. I I don't see a lot of uh, advertisement yet. Um, on this um, screening program, it's not uh, widely uh, what you call uh, advertised in the media social. Um, what is your 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 future? I mean your 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 plan in, uh, to in order to make sure that this training program is a uh, reach out for the, all the people out there. So actually, good question. Good question. Actually, uh, the the reason why we are having this meeting is that uh, we are preparing for a big marketing push. That's why we want to make sure every clinic is ready, so that you know, uh, we once we start the blast, right, we will have uh, you know, no, not much issues lah. And also, we want to make sure that technically everything is okay as well on our side to make sure the systems is fine. But we have actually engaged with a social media and digital advertising company. They will, they will, they are actually have a huge, uh, pro program uh, plan for us already lah for the major advertising. It says that they are also waiting for our go ahead. So once uh everybody is comfortable with the system and uh, we have onboarded most of the clinics, we will start the process of advertising the our services to all of Clang Valley first lah before expanding outside. Oh, okay, that's good. That's awesome. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you, Doctor. Okay. Uh, we do receive these uh, questions before we start this uh, session, right? Uh, should I just walk through all these questions and answers, or we can pass it over through email, or what do you think? If the time is okay now, uh, it's 11.15. Uh, you guys okay? Uh, uh, we can continue with this a little bit more? Or uh, could, you, could you please go through it uh, quickly, please? Thank okay, you. sure. Uh, try to answer these questions. This one raised in the group, uh, WhatsApp group. Now, first thing, uh, what, I think few already answered it uh, along the session. Uh. Now, first thing, how do we know if there is a confirmed booking? Uh, how do we get notification? Yeah. Clinic will get email notification with HSTID, uh, as I shown earlier in the email. Uh, how about for an inpatient who wants to uh, who wants to do medical screening? Uh, this one has been uh, explained by uh, by Lines just now. Okay, uh, similar to the HST, but this time, um, if the patient can, uh, walk in, uh, clinic need to fill in uh, the form and submit to the to the lab. And uh, of course, the, the charges is depends on the on the clinic. Okay, which package to select? Uh, this part I'm not really sure. Okay, specimen need to be sent uh, to Nugenics. Okay, for for that part, right? Uh, currently uh. there is no integration yet, but uh, with between uh, uh, Intel Sys and yeah, uh, but but in the our platform, there, there's a new genetic lab to be selected lah. Yeah, it's right. already incorporated lah. Yeah. Okay, so the next one is what screening codes to send in the system for lab investigation, or do we have to print lab requests from email Asia? Now each packages or test available has code, as you can see over here. Uh, let's try to create a new one. I believe there's a showing a code over here. For example, this a la carte. Okay. Uh, okay. So each each of these tests uh, has uh, a code, or even for the profiler. Uh, okay. All these has codes now. 
Uh, so for number four, right? Uh, still have to print the lab request from email yeah, portal yeah. to send yes. to to New Genix. Yes. So we show this one uh, also from the listing. You can uh, print the request form, and it looks like like this. Okay. So the next one would be. Okay, what is the last specimen containers instruction? Okay, I believe, I believe this one is uh, New Genix is is best to answer. Uh, can someone, Jobin? Uh, 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 I'll let Mr. Go, our manager, to answer this one. <laughs> sure. Okay, uh, for questions number uh, number five, uh, what is the lab specimens containers instructions? Okay, my side, we will pro uh, we will prepare some uh, educational templates like how you handle the plain tube, the EDTA, the citrate, the fluorides, and any others, for example, the mo molecular samples, how to keep at what temperature for storing? We will share you uh, this educational pamphlet to you all. Okay, uh, okay, pass to us as well. So then we will also upload to the server, la, to, to, to the request form, la, so that doctors can just download directly at the form itself. Yeah, uh, great, great. That will be eventful. All right, yeah, so, so the next yeah. one, do we have to call the lab? This one is very explained uh, earlier, the candidate kind of specimen. Yeah, we will be sent an uh, email notification to the lab, so just to call the lab. The phone number is uh, stated in the, in the formula. When you try to create this uh, request or you went to submit the HST form, so you will see this number you can call. Okay, do we get notifications for result? Yes, clinic will get email notification once the test completed. It shows uh, something like something like this. Though. I think we showed this earlier. Okay, what is the instructions for appointment? I think this is the answer. What is what is the instructions for appointment for blood results consultation? It may be sent to the patient without result attachment. Content is below, so they need to attend again to the clinic or contact the clinic for uh, for to get the consideration of the blood results. Uh, am I am I correct to answer this one? What do you think, Ken? Sorry, come again. Vision. Okay, the number eight. What is the instructions for appointment for blood results consultation? So. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, email will be sent to the to the patient without result attachment, of course. Uh, content as below. Yeah. So, here so we basically, say that, yeah. Yeah, I think the patient can directly contact the clinic lah to arrange uh, when when is the best time. It's just that both both parties will be getting a notification saying that it's ready. That, right. So uh, clinic. Yeah. Both clinic and uh, patient will receive email notification, and the clinic will be a uh, patient will be encouraged to visit the clinic to get their result lah. Mm. The idea is, of course, drive the clinic the patient back to the clinic first. Yes, correct. For follow up and consultation. Maybe just to add on that. Uh, so initially, the first part regarding the payment, uh, we normally that first uh, booking, we encourage the clinic not to charge the patient uh, because they have already prepaid for the health screening test. But for the follow-up consultation and uh, further treatment and all, that one we leave it to the clinics. You all can charge uh, on that lah because uh, after that, we, we don't interfere regarding the payment. I think our main focus is just to drive the pa patients to the clinics for that initial step. OK, right. Herman, back to you. OK, sure. Now, uh, I think this would be the last one. How do we claim for this blood screening? Uh, I think uh, best to answer is um, okay. So I just put it in uh, here. The immigration finance we process the investment by weekly basis. Uh, this is correct, right? Can so the cut off yeah. day is on every Wednesday or Tuesday. Uh, sorry, I couldn't remember this part. Uh, it's every yeah. Tuesday, and then payment should be made by end of the week, which is Friday. Okay, slot. so mm. it's Tuesday. Uh, Lene, just to, to highlight, I think yes, the doctor. question was a very good question. 
Okay, mm-hmm. basically the 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 amount you're going to pay to the clinic, for example, the the sim the first package is the fifty ringgit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, would that, you like me to is... share the pricing? No need. Ah, uh, it's okay, it's okay. Okay. Uh, so, I can can also how much the clinic will be paid. Okay. Can. So basically, that amount being paid for two things. One is the blood taking, and also for uh, consultation, the subsequent one. But the advantage to the clinic is that these patients uh, may not have been to the our clinic before this. And we should take advantage of these to make them as our regular patient. Uh, so uh, the, this program also creates visibility uh, for our group. Thanks. That's all. Yeah, correct, doctor. So maybe to elaborate on what yeah, doctor. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Uh, sorry. Again, uh, this is this is for yeah. Thank you, doctor. But, but this yeah yeah this is for email issues uh booking lah. But for walking is like I said uh they uh. They don't need to. the The patient will pay directly to the clinic lah for walk-ins. Mm. So then, uh, so earlier on, what Doctor Arasu was saying, the clinic reimbursement for the first package will be fifty ringgit. The second one will be sixty, and the third, the premium profile will be ninety-five. Uh, I maybe I'll share the breakdown table to Hilman, and then he can put it in the WhatsApp group. With all the doctors, yeah. is that okay, Herman? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we'll just uh, to inform everyone uh, and be uh, transparent on the pricing. Okay. Any? I think uh, this question has been uh, answered. Right. Um. Ten. I Manish, mean, do you have any further questions, or you want to add up more things? No. No, I'm fine. Uh, any questions from okay. the from the floor? Or oh, maybe just uh, info to all doctors and a reminder. Confirming the appointment is very important. So make sure on the clinic end that the appointment is confirmed. On our system, if it's not confirmed, it shows that the patient didn't go, so payment won't be made for that. So maybe just a reminder uh, to always confirm the appointment, so that way it's captured in our system. Uh, again, uh, have we have we briefed also uh, on the work in progress on the integration between the CX system and the uh, Neogenics. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm having a call with Doctor Pasu soon. I already arranged with him. Yeah. So basically, for everyone, so what we are doing now, uh, soon we will have uh, all the orders can be made directly from uh, CX system. Uh, CX system. Uh, that's moving forward. CX system, and then once the order is made from there, it'll be pushed straight to EMAT and then to Neogenics now. And then when it, when the result comes, it'll come to EMAT. It'll come to CX system. And also, it can also appear in the. Uh, currently, I think the PDF copy is already able to appear in the PHR. Uh, but then, moving forward, we will have uh, structured data also appearing in the PHR. Yeah, that's that's in progress. Yes. Great. Uh, Ken, okay, while so only I, think... The, I think I think let me just explain to everybody. Uh, why we are doing all these things? Okay, basically, uh, everyone, uh, this is in line with our vision and mission. Our vision is that our care clinic's vision is that uh, taking the best practices of medicine, uh, putting uh, marrying together with the technology and giving personalized care. So that is our vision. So how do we operationalize this vision and becomes our mission? So our mission is that. We are giving the best care to our patient, best personalized care to our patient so that they can make the right decision. Okay, for us to do that, that is why we need a personal health record. So we need to use our best practices, integrate with our CX system, with PHR, and then do that. And also for information, the world has moved from digitalization towards personalization. Huh? So that is why as a CEO, it's also my duty to make sure that our vision and mission is also being implemented. Thanks. Thank you, Doctor. Uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Dr. Arasu. 
Uh, just find, uh, I think uh, final question is more like internal for our care clinic group because we are using CX uh, system. So um, because this is uh, um, related to this uh, booking, yeah, the uh, screening program that the, the, the patient already made uh, the, the payment through the email Asia. Um, for our side, um, internally, we need to create the, uh, you call the panel for email uh, Asia patient, right? And then also the other thing is the package. The um, uh, what you call we have to create the package in our uh, investigation in our system. So when this this uh, um, panel because this uh, I think this should be centralized, right? And uh, and also the booking uh, for the packages to be created uh, in our system. So when uh, we can uh, expect uh, we can expect this um, uh, this will be available in our system. Uh, okay, I think this, this one I'll take the question. Okay, Dr. Azura, basically, uh, okay, now, uh, basically, what we will do is that we'll be getting the package uh, uh, books from uh, Neogenics uh, because I already spoken to Pasu yesterday. So, once we get the package uh, uh, things from Neogenics, so we will, uh, pass, Dr. Pasu will upload in the system. So, we are anticipating at least give us two weeks, uh, two weeks uh, to get this sorted out. And of course, the panel one, uh, panel, I think it should be done probably by today uh, because the one the HQ will uh, create the panel and then uh, probably it will uh, uh, email the panel in all the clinics. Okay, noted. Thank you so much, Tato. Okay, now it's 11.30. I think, uh, I think no, no, no questions. So far, right. I think we can. Um, I think it's good to end the session. Uh, I think if, if there is any further questions on this uh, module, right, or on this platform, we can uh, forward to uh, PHR uh, a group, WhatsApp group. Then we will try to answer that from that lah or email. Okay. I think we can end the session for today. Thank you for your time uh, to joining this session. All right? Uh, Ken, do you have anything else to say? Uh, Vinesh, to close. Uh, Dr. Ram, I think has a question. Uh, oh. no, no, no. I was just trying out. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I just want right. to say thank you, thank you to everybody, but I okay. suppose to press the other icon and wrongly press. Thank you. <laughs> okay, okay, no problem, no problem. All right. So thank you everybody. Thank you for joining. Thank you for your time. Thank yes. you so much, Mr. Herman, from uh, Asia. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. And also for Neogenic. Yeah, thank you so much for all the things. Yes, yeah. thank you, Neogenics, for helping as well for this session. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye.